can we bring an extinct species back to life? Although that may sound impossible, scientists are now one step closer to reviving the extinct Tasmanian tiger. Experts have decoded RNA molecules from the creature for the very first time. And they say that learning the genetic makeup could help bring the animal back in some form. Let's break this down for you one by one. A research team has sequenced ribonucleic acid of the skin of the animal. And the RNA will essentially help identify the Tasmanian tigers, also known as thylacines, specific genes. And this information will form the animal's transcriptomy. Similar to how information is stored in DNA is called genome. Experts say, and I'm quoting, RNA gives you the chance to go through the cell, the tissues, and find the real biology that has been preserved in time for that animal, the thylacine species, right before they died. But there is a problem here. Obtaining RNA from historical samples is extremely challenging. You see, once extracted from an extinct species, ribonucleic acid rapidly breaks down into smaller fragments. And experts say, I'm quoting, outside of living cells, it's believed to be degraded or destroyed in minutes. It was surprising that we found these authentic RNA sequences in this mummified Tasmanian tiger. So what is the function of RNA? RNA, also called ribonucleic acid, allows us to put together a more complete picture of an animal's biology. You see, RNA is like a messenger that carries instructions from the DNA. It also assists in protein synthesis, gene regulation, and cell metabolism. So when did the world see the last Tasmanian tiger? It was in the year 1936 at the Bumara Zoo in Hobart. The last Tasmanian tiger died living in captivity and reports say the species virtually disappeared nearly 2,000 years ago and survived only in the Australian island state of Tasmania. And reports say that the RNA could help bring back the species and find out old viruses to discover the cause of the past pandemics. Will RNA change the future of the extinct species? Scientists have uh, come close to bringing back an extinct species earlier. The Bocardo, a subspecies of wild mountain goat, was confirmed extinct in the year 2000. But scientists had extracted some of the animal's cells before death and froze them for preservation. And in the year 2003, scientists made attempts to clone the Bocardo and achieved one successful birth. Although the Bocardo became the first species to return from extinction, the animal's lungs were uh, mis misshapen and uh, it suffocated to death within minutes. The Bocardo went back to being extinct. Have the scientists learned from this? We will have to wait and watch. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.